In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove echo from your videos with the parametric equalizer in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have this clip of Will Carnahan, my buddy, teaching people food photography. So if I take this parametric equalizer effect and drop it on this entire clip, you'll see that it pops up in our audio effects and we can click edit to open up the options. This is similar to the old EQ effect in the sense that you have your frequencies on this graph and then the decibel level or the gain level on the left hand side. So if we take any of these points, we're picking a frequency and increasing or decreasing the settings. There are some preset effects or presets for getting rid of different things or for enhancing different sounds such as acoustic guitar, rap vocals, vocal enhancer. For removing echo though, what I'm going to do is do it custom. So the way I'm actually going to find the echo and try to reduce it is to pinpoint the frequencies that are really affected by the echo. And to do that, I'm going to click on one of these points and actually increase the size or increase the loudness of it. But when I do that, it brings up the loudness of a lot of frequencies. So I'm going to adjust the width. So if I decrease or increase the width, you can see that the graph changes and I'm more pinpointing a specific frequency. So let me take this down and then play through and let's try to pinpoint where there's a problem area. You can see under the plate and the other one, it's a little bit softer. It's also a little bit darker because we didn't adjust our shutter. We're just so you can see right around here at 3000 or so, it gets to be distorted. If I go up here, it doesn't sound that distorted. Let's play through it. Open up a little bit with the shutter, take another shot. It sounds pretty normal, but down here, it's going to get really wonky. And now you can see the difference between the two. You can see they're still around the same brightness, but the light is a little bit more diffused and a little bit softer. Another thing that happens because of the Wow, that right there is horrible. So around 2655, 55 we're going to actually take this and decrease it the color temperature has changed just a little bit starting around negative 15. so now i'm going to do the same thing with points two and three so if i change the width to around 20 and then play through so you can correct that later um, or you can kind of decide what kind of lighting that you want um, i think for this one i would probably go with the diffused light because it just looks a little warmer it looks a little softer it looks a little more inviting Right around there, terrible, terrible. So we're gonna take this down again. Just a nice, vibrant um, kind of idea. And last time with the point number two. So we wanna add a little bit more contrast. I'm gonna add some neg fill, which means I'm gonna keep the light coming from over here and trying to like shape some kind of darker sides on the, on the, on the contrasty side, on the right side. And that'll allow for some more shape and more sort of contrast within the food itself. Okay, there's something weird going around on around there. So let's take that down. Like to bounce off of. So this isn't going to do much, but depending on where you are, you can take this. So now if we play through it and bypass it over here in the effects window and turn it on and off, we can hear what it sounds like. And get it as close as you can to the food without actually getting it in your shot. So that's helping quite a bit. Until I get into my frame. So let's decrease these down. just a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and take a photo with the same settings. Pretty good. And take it away. And now, without it, you can look at your difference between photo and other With it. Just a little, little without it, darkness in it that adds a little bit more contrast that I think looks a little with bit it. More professional. So you can definitely tell that some of that echo has been reduced. Now echo is one of the hardest things to remove as a video editor or audio editor, but it can be removed. And another thing about this clip is this is not the microphone we're actually using for this course. We used a lavalier microphone. This is just the microphone from the camera. And so that's why this audio isn't good in the first place. But in a pinch, if I had to use this audio, this is how I would fix it. There's other things that I could do with the parametric equalizer to make this sound better. Maybe cutting out some of the lows and the highs with this low cut and high cut. So if I turn on the low cut, and if I make this, turn this up to say 100, and then I turn on the low cut with this button right here. Notice on the fork, if you, you change the forward, frequency to around 100. Nice dark layer of contrast. And, also and then same with the high cut, click this button here. 
change this down to around 6,500. It adds a little bit more shadow coming in in the background and on the napkin, which I think looks way more professional. So let's go. That helps just a little bit, and that helps get rid of some of the background noise. So that's how you actually decrease echo with the parametric equalizer. The key is to pinpoint the frequencies or the range of frequencies where there's some issues, where it's got that reflective sound that's bouncing off the walls, and then decrease those specific frequencies. So hopefully this helps you in the future with your projects. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just see you in another tutorial.